Good evening. A new law taking effect at midnight will allow drivers to go 70 along rural stretches of Ohio highways. Nine on your sides. Amy Wattis joins us from Warren County, where I-71 will be affected. Amy? Julie, as we move into the month of July, that marks a visible change on interstates in some parts of Ohio that might have you do a double take. So if you're headed out to rural areas like Interstate 71 here in Warren County, you'll notice a 7-0 on some of the speed limit signs. The sign says 65, but this will be changing depending on where you drive. But that's okay for some drivers. We'll run 70 and 80 now. I don't think it's a bad thing. They already run 70, 75. I just come from Kentucky, and I was doing almost 80 and getting passed. Here's a map the Ohio Department of Transportation released in May showing where drivers will be able to legally drive the new speed limit. The roads marked in red show where the speed limit changes to 70. In our area, drivers will be able to drive 70 miles an hour just north of the Jeremiah Morrow Bridge in Warren County. Callie Davis just moved to Xenia from Nashville. She's used to the 70 mile per hour speed limit down there and isn't afraid of the increase in speed. I think accidents are caused by people not paying attention, people, you know, distracted. I don't think it has anything to do with the speed limit. But Michelle Johns thinks the opposite. I think it's already dangerous enough being, what was it, 65 before. So in the big rigs and stuff, being so close to you, it's really scary. On April 1st, Governor John Kasich signed into law a two-year, $3.87 billion transportation budget. Among the provisions of the law is the higher maximum speed limit which applies to interstates outside of urban areas like Cincinnati. You will also be able to drive 60 miles per hour on all two-lane state highways outside city limits. They move up 70, you got people going to do 50, 55. Those are the ones that are going to cause problems. If you can't do the speed limit, get off the highway. And uh, the transportation bill also includes a provision that mandates the state sell $1.5 billion in bonds, which is backed up by future Ohio Turnpike tolls. Now, these bonds will help to pay for future bridge and highway projects. Amy Wattis, Nine on Your Side, live from Mason. All right, we'll watch those signs, Amy. And along with an increase in speed, 